fans are already lining up. I can uh, understand the crowd is huge already, Ashley. Yeah, a huge crowd here tonight, John. It is wrapped around the theater outside. We are inside where you can see there are a lot of fans lined up. There's a just a big buzz building within the theater right now as people get ready uh, to go in to see this new show. The screening starts at 730 and this is a, a, an interesting new show. It will be on our station, Fox Wilmington, and it's based on the story of Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman, but it has a modern day twist. We talked to the show's stars and its creators about what these folks and what these fans can expect. Hey Lee, bring in the board. Production crews create elaborate sets inside a soundstage at EUE Screen Gems. Hey Mark. This is where Fox is filming the third episode of its new series, Sleepy Hollow. We have a very different take on the, on Sleepy Hollow. Nicole Bahari stars in the show. She plays Detective Abby Mills. Apparently, um, our Ichabod Crane is kind of buff and cute. And the one in the uh, Washington Irving novel was kind of like a... A uh, gangly, nerdy guy, but He's this one is. Cute. I didn't even notice. Oh well, I uh, no. uh, <laughs> Tom. We're talking about Tom Meissen. There's nothing like it on telly. As you can hear from his accent, Meissen isn't from around here. He says he wasn't very familiar with the port city before coming here for Sleepy Hollow. It's not a place I I knew very much about before I came here, but coming from London, uh, I. I don't have a car because I never needed to learn to drive in London. So I'm situated downtown where everything is, everyone's welcoming. This southern hospitality I keep hearing about back home actually exists. Crane! Oh. So why did Sleepy Hollow's creators choose Hollywood East? It has a lot of the things that are integral to the story. Ken Olin is one of the executive producers on the production. It's not a tiny town, Sleepy Hollow. It's supposed to be a town of about 125, 150,000 people. It's supposed to have all of the, the feelings of contemporary America, but there's also supposed to be that feeling of a lot of the landmarks and buildings and, and the environment that was present in the 1700s. And but that's not all. Olin says the state's film incentives were the deciding factor. More and more now, the creative decisions have to be, if not, you know, certainly take into serious consideration the financial ones. They're, they're driven by the financial ones. Um, and so, yeah, having, having the incentives, I, I, I can't say that, that uh, probably Wilmington or North Carolina would be considered without them. Since the incentives don't expire until January of 2015, Olin says if they do get picked up for a second season, it will be filmed here. As soon as I got here, I thought, oh, this is this is a perfect place to shoot this series. And he says it's one of the biggest TV shows shooting right now. Every episode is meant to have the feel of a feature film. From the very beginning, wanted to make a show that isn't like other TV shows. I think they certainly wanted the production values to be on a scale of a, a movie. And so they've, they've been really very bold in um, how much they try to fit in each week. So expect action, adventure, and mystery when Sleepy Hollow rolls onto your TV cut. Cut, cut. this fall on Fox. If you are at home and you have your ticket and you're watching right now, you better get out the door because seating is limited here. Uh, they're opening up two theaters to show this tonight. Uh, in one of the theaters, it seats about 300 people. The other one seats 100 people. So hundreds of people expected to come out here and watch Sleepy Hollow. And if you didn't get a ticket, don't worry. The show is going to be right here on Fox Wilmington, September 16th at 9 o'clock, right before Fox Wilmington News at 10. John, back to you.